From Boston University and BU Alumni Relations, welcome to Proud to Be You Around the World. I'm your host, Jeff Murphy, and this season, we're taking the podcast on the road to meet some of our most interesting and accomplished alumni navigating life and careers in cities across the globe. Today, it's my pleasure to welcome guest host Susan Richardson to the Proud to Be You podcast. Susan's the Executive Director of Alumni Relations here at BU and leads our efforts to meaningfully engage our 339,000 alumni around the globe. Susan, thanks so much for being here. Take it away. Thanks, Jeff. It's my pleasure to introduce our guest today, Nina Tassler. Nina graduated from the College of Fine Arts class of 1979. She went on to build a groundbreaking career as an executive at CBS, where she rose through the ranks to become chairman of the entertainment division. In recent years, she published her first book, What I Told My Daughter, and co-founded Patma Productions. She also received an honorary doctorate from BU in 2016 and serves as a member of the Board of Trustees. Nina joined me on the podcast to reflect on her formative BU experiences and to explore the values embedded throughout her storied career. Hi, Nina. Thanks so much for joining us today on our Proud to Be You podcast. First of all, I just have to tell you how excited I am to uh, be a part of the award-winning Proud to Be You podcast. I believe that you came to be you to be an actor. Did you grow up with artists and entertainment people in your family? I did come to be you uh, to study acting. I had wanted to be an actor from the time I was very young. I was active in high school and professional productions before I came to be you. There's nobody in my family, although I did hear a story, a family story, that my grandmother, when she was young, traveled to Los Angeles from New York to work in the silent movies, but I didn't know if that was myth or whether or not that was true, but I had no family affiliated with any of the uh, acting, anybody in the acting profession. I did, however, come from a family of, I would say, big personalities. So let's just say that perhaps informed some of the choices I made in life. So big personalities in your family. How did you end up at BU and what was your time like here? Well, my decision to go to BU was very well thought out. I was very focused on finding a theatrical training program where I could study professional theater, but that I could also get my Bachelor of Fine Arts. Way back in the 70s, when I did attend uh, Boston University, there was the Fisk book of schools around the country. So I looked long and hard and found that BU had one of the top theater programs in the country. I would also be able to get my degree. I was very interested in being in Boston, although I had never been there before I came to BU to audition. But I was really, really interested. BU was my top choice. It's where I wanted to go. And it was perhaps one of the single most influential decisions of my life. Wow. So tell us about your BU experience. How did it shape who you became as a professional? Well, I think the first thing would be that my entire time at BU was incredibly inspiring, fulfilling, rewarding, informative. I was at Boston University from 1975 to 1979. So there was a lot of change going on. The experimental theater movement was very big in Boston at the time. So you really felt a lot of energy. And the theater school itself was was populated by professionals and, and teachers who were very connected to the experimental theater movement in Boston, as well as the classical theater training. I was educated in terms of not only the history of the theater, an academic overview of the theater, but as well as the practical training that one would need to have a career on stage. I also found that there was a a, a community of students and people who came to that school and came to the theater who loved the work, who loved the art. Because you had to audition to get into the program, there was a caliber of performer, and you really felt that there was a genuine focus on becoming a professional. It it, it made you feel like your next step was going to be going into a profession. The relationships and friendships that I made while at school are quite unique in that I am 
very close friends with a number of my classmates to this day. Because we went through a four-year training program, we spent a great deal of time together, in class together, rooming together, in you know, going through the program together. So the friendships I made have been lifelong friendships. I actually had to jump off the phone minutes before we were doing this podcast to talk to uh, my dearest and best friend uh, to this day, Gina Davis, who was in my class at the time. And I would say that uh, the professors I had while at school, uh, Professor Bill Young, Bill Lacey, days at McKelvey, who unfortunately passed away, they were incredibly influential. So when you think back during your time at BU and then you look at your uh, where you are today, would your former self be surprised to see what you're doing for work now? Well, that is a fantastic question. I think my former self would be somewhat surprised, but at the same time, I would think that it makes sense. I would say that one of the things I I did enjoy about my training at BU was that you were exposed to sort of every different facet of the art and the work. So you had to do uh, stagecraft, you had to do makeup, you know, you learned dance, movement, speech. And because you get your Bachelor of Fine Arts, you also are exposed to the extraordinary resources, uh, academic resources at the rest of the university. So I was able to take a Holocaust class with, with Elie Wiesel. I was able to take a class, a uh, Shakespeare class. I was able to take different kinds of classes that allowed me to, to interface with different cohorts. So to that end, the fact that I ended up in the executive ranks in television, I would say it prepared me for a career that tapped into different fields and allowed me to develop different skills and become comfortable being exposed to different kinds of work. So after you graduated, how did you decide what to do? What happened next? Where'd you go? At the time, the tradition was you went from Boston and you either went to New York City or you went and pursued a career in regional theater. I decided to go to New York at the time. I had a boyfriend at the time who is now my husband, who was also at Boston University, um, Jerry Levine, and his family was in New Jersey. And we went to New Jersey and started working in the theater in New York. Now, working in the theater means doing whatever you possibly can do to to be in and around a professional theater environment. So for a number of years, I worked at the Roundabout Theater, literally doing anything I could, whether it was running a spotlight, building a set, working behind the scenes, whatever I could possibly do to, to again, be around a professional theater company. I was auditioning at the time. I was trying to get an agent at the time. I was helping. 